Carl from Carl's Crafts. Welcome back to being four. And hi, this is your first time. I'm recording on my new phone, so don't know what it'd be like, but we're giving it a try. Basically, because I didn't charge my other one. <laughs> Never mind. I've got my lavender cam chamomile and vanilla candle lit for anybody that needs some prayers, thoughts, or positivity. I've had another parcel in from a diamond painting dot com they said they've got a few more that they wanted to share so they've sent them over um so i've not looked at them i've just opened them now with any company especially ones that are on the cheaper range i can't say if they've got stolen pop things or they haven't you're going to have to check that yourselves we all do do it um we just have to scroll find and see and check and whatever and what i do but I haven't seen any yet, but I don't know because I've not gone through every page. So that's just a disclaimer out there. Right, got me diamond painting pen they've sent me. One of their little cute ones, looks like a lipstick, which is cute. And let's have a look, how many have they sent us? One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. Oh, ten this time. Oh, those looks like some specials. Some specials, they're specials. Right, we've got 10, so we should get started. What I'll do is I'll just measure um, to see the first one, whether it measures true to size or not. And we won't do it on every one. And I won't show you every drill, if you know what I mean. So they're only small ones, they do do bigger. So this is a 30 by 30, and it's like, um, I don't really know what it is. Fruit and a flask. There you go. Like that. I'm looking to see better. You can see better in there. A sugar cup, flask, some fruit. It's not awfully clear, I've got to admit. I'm trying to see it through the camera. And if I can move that over a little bit without hitting that. Oh, hang on. That's it. Can't really see because my camera is held in the middle of my phone, so it's hard to see. So it's a 30 by 30. When anybody's looking at you, that's the canvas size, that's not the draw size. So this company, if I remember rightly, it's a canvas size, not the drill size that they go by. Yeah, because that's just what's that? 24 and a half. Yeah, 24 and a half by 24 and a half. So we've got the standard tool kit, which you get in every diamond painting kit. Some companies now are deciding to give you an option of whether you, you have one or not, which I think is great because we all have loads of them. And the one good thing about these is they put them in baggies. So you can start off straight away. They put numbers on the bags and they've got... Um, Stomatic there and there, so you can have a look on there. So the numbers down the side will be on the bag and then that's the current corresponding number in the middle, which will be the canvas number and that's your, I don't know if that's your, it says drill number. So I don't know that, I think that's your DMC number, I think they mean by that. Just by looking at the numbers. So I don't think there's anything on there that's going to, trip you up. We'll have a look at the drill seal. So that looks very, very clear. That's very sticky. No training wheels, which is great. Training wheels, for anybody that don't know, is like the little circles that you get around each letter. Sometimes they show through. And as you can see, they are round. So you've got some Nice darkish colours there. So that's that one. So we'll whistle them. Oh well. So I know you've got better things to do with your knife than watch cow opening and closing there. Right, dive in for another one. Oh well, no, it's crinkling, but there's nothing we can do about that. So we've got the same thing again, got the same tool kit. So, let's 
see. Nice and sticky, which is great. And again, this says it's 30 by 40. I'll just measure this because it's a different size to the 30 by 30, but you can, you can tell it's going to be 25 roughly. Just under 25, so that'll probably be just under 35, yep. So you can take five centimetres more off for the framing around the side. Now, I don't know if you can see what this is. Yes, you can. It's that. It's quite dark, isn't it? You see this one on all sides. And again, the drill field is very, very clear. Easy to distinguish between each one which I like, looking at the stomatic. Don't think maybe three a B, um, is that 10 an A? Or an R, no, an R. So the R and the B, but where's an R and a B? An R and a B here. You might, <clears throat> if his shadows on there, might mix them up, but apart from that, that's your colours. So look good. The faucets are um, not as many as you would get on uh, the Diamond Art Club and Treasure Studios out in places like that. But they've still got a good sparkle on them. And they're roughly about £7 something, I think, per diamond painting on this site. So if you just wanted to try one out, this is probably one of the better you know get yourself a, a cheap one just to start out with i know not everybody can afford the more expensive sites and you especially don't want to pay out well i didn't when i started i didn't pay out great money for something i didn't know if i was going to like but now i do because I, I like the canvases i like the diamonds and i like the facts that they're licensed artist work as well but I also appreciate it. it's taken me ten years, two, ten years, two years to get to this stage. So we all got to learn. But sometimes we need to be shown the cheaper ones. So I'm going to say as long as you research each picture that you get. And we all cock up and we all still get one that isn't right. But there's that one. That's a nice one. Nice bit of colour blocking in this one. Colour blocking is like when you've got an area of one. One um, symbol. So this here is a little bit of colour block in there. And then you've got a little bit of confetti in there of different symbols. But again, crystal clear. And it's flattened out pretty quick. Again, all the bags are numbered, and you can see they look really nice. I can't see any waste or knobbly bits on them. As I say, when we get to one of the last ones, I'll get them out and we'll have a proper look. That's the pussy cat one. Not real, no, it's not bad. Nine minutes is one, two, three. I'll do as quick as I can. This is a blue rose. Oh, I like the colours in this one. Again, that's probably 24 to 25 by 24, 25, somewhere else. again. And look at them beautiful colours. Blues, I like blues. A bit of purpley in there, but look at them blues. And as I say, they look pretty good. And I say all these kits are in baggies, so they're all ready to go. Just show you the drill field so you can see. That one's crystal clear. With these, I do, because I get them free, um, I give these away to people that want to start. So I tend to give these away or give them to people's kids. 
want to try it you know some friends have come around and the kids say can they try them so i'll send them home with a few of these most people that end up that have these end up <laughs> yeah being wanting to do more and more and more oh come on I can't get that one out I'll have to go in later I'm not struggling struggle bus now this one looks like a cow Oh, it is as well. Here's a moon cow. There's all the colours. The grey tones. They've all sort of stuck on a tone, like the autumn tones and blue tones, and these are brown. There's its nose. Looking good. That's a cutie. That's the actual picture of it as it is. Being a country girl, you've got to love. The old mood cow. And with the green trays, if you do have a load, you can give them to the schools for use as paint pots and things. Or use them yourself if you do bits of painting. They're ideal for that. This is, looks like a dinosaur, doesn't it? If you know anybody that's got a little boy, you can do this one for them. Ooh, some nice greens in that one. I like that one a lot. He's got squeaky brakes out there. That's your drill field. Bit more confetti heavy this one. So if you like confetti and you want a quick and easy one, this little dinosaur is the one to do. I know I'm whizzing through them guys, but I've got a bang in there, day. And I've got behind my house is like a blinking bomb. I know you don't need to know that, but I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you anyway. Clutter everywhere. The guys picking up the um, green bins that have got like glass cuttings and stuff in. I think this is the last one of the round grill ones. Oh, that's a pretty one. There we go. That one. Nice flower. Can roll it the other way. You can roll these the other way. Canvas backing is quite stiff. It's alright. Oh, nothing wrong with it, but. Uh, Oh, it didn't like that. See if it, let me have a look see if they do any squares. I'm not sure if they do or don't. I'll just click on a random one. Yeah, you can choose round, <coughs> round or square. I've got a couple of Mandela's that are quite nice. Christmas bell one. Mm. That's nice. The trouble is you go on sites like this. I don't get, I do probably one or two pages and then I'll skip a couple of pages and then I'll go and have a look at that page. And Yeah, every one I clicked on, you've had the choice of round or square, so that's good. I like rounds, especially if it's a cheaper painting. Sometimes the squares tend to pop. This is very vibrant. You see how vibrant them reds are? Confetti heaven there. <laughs> Don't worry about the wrinkles on, in the paper, it won't hurt. This is quite thin, but it does the job. 
Do we have a look at some of the drills? Can I get some of them out? Get a tray. I'll pour a couple in there. That's your colours. See it? I'm going to get one of the reds. Number 11. What colour is number 11? 666. Ooh. Oh, sorry, you can't see me doing it. See, that's all you do is shake them. Oh, it feels funny using a tiny green boat. And there's your diamond. Is it going to focus? Can you see the shine on? Oh, there. Can you see the shine on there? So they're pretty sparkly, to be fair. And I can't see any with any... Oh, there's one there that's got a... Can you see it? It's got a bit of a tail on it. Taking out. The rest look quite good. Now if you look at standard, that's what I normally use to do mine. Or that one. It adds a bit of a difference. But they look fine. Nothing wrong with them. And as I say, if you want a cheap and cheerful, quick little duck painting, then these ones can be ideal or if you want to get something for somebody to try let me put it in order because they're all in order let me get number 14 have you got any that looks like a dark colour let's put some of them in a the tray oh, of course I need to drop down the floor that would have been a disaster Oh, so she just sho shovels them on the table. It's like a dark blue. Do they look all right? Oh gosh, there you go. See the sparkle? Can't see any bits. I don't do what I do when I chase the bag, look, shake the bag. There you go, everywhere. I am such a mucky pup, it's unreal. Yeah, really in a minute. They look okay, to be fair. Can't grumble at that. The seven pounder a pop. And some of them you can get larger sizes, some they just do basic size, but the only thing with the smaller ones is, I will say, is you don't get as much detail. The bigger you go, I've oh, done enough. The bigger you go, the more detail you get. Right, and then we've got three specials. First time they've sent me specials, I think. This will be the, probably the last time I get any of them because I've got loads now to one side and I can give away. Okay. Oh, it's a moo cow. I thought, what the hell is that? With these, it hasn't got a picture, but it has got the stomatic top and bottom. Again, you get plastic cheap um, tweezers. I don't use them, but you know, to the thing. And then you've got, and again, 30 by 40 is the canvas size, the draw, canvas size, not the draw size. So you don't have to you can take at least five of that. So I'll give you a quick run through these. So you've got some silver, some like six of red, some pink. 
Ooh, there's some lovely, like, that's like um, topaz, isn't it? My topaz doesn't look like that. Mm. Look at that, that's like a sea blue. That's beautiful. A lighter red. Ooh, it's like a brown colour, nice brown that is. And some gold. Then we've got some bigger pink ones. Some, what can you call them? They're like an orangey pink. And they're showing up the right colour on the camera, but I don't know what colour you'd call them. Salmon, maybe? Then we've got like a pinky pink. You see the sparkle coming off there. Then we've got loads of iridescent blue. Oh, sorry. You see the iridescent on that? And then some teardrops, silver teardrops. There's some different one types in there. Right, I'll move them over. Time's going on, you want to keep seeing me wrapping them up, do you? Not one, 20 more minutes. I said to me, I'll do about 25 minutes. Doing this. Last one. I'm getting quite into liking doing specials in between the bigger canvases. I'm getting a bit uninvented with them. I like to do these. Oh, and I do like the yachts. And it's got blossom. That is beautiful. Again, same thing, your tweezers, simple thing. Your schematic there. And I think this has got some nice girls for the peacock eyes. Let me look. Ooh, look at them blue ones. Have you got them there? Oh, they're the, the peacock's tail. Look, oh my God. They are gorgeous. They are stunning. I hope there's a few of them left over. They are beautiful. And then we have some blue ovals. Nice. Some gold. Some like light ready orange darky pink lovely sea blue emeraldy green and that's like lightish pink can't see it. it looks orangey pink there they're nice so yeah so that's all the ones that I had from a diamondpainting.com have a look see if you like anything on there let me know what you think as i say please check to make sure that you know, they have, here's, here's not stolen artwork. I will be trying to check as best I can, but you can only do your best. And I've got to learn, you don't beat yourself up. You check it. If it seems okay, that's fine. I check on tonight, so that's what I'm going to do now when I get off. And I'll say thank you for watching. Take care. Look after yourselves. If you haven't subscribed and you fancy staying around, it would be great to have you. If you want to leave a comment, down below is great. I always answer my comments or my social media is down below as well. So you can contact me privately. My Patreon, if you want to know what goes on behind the scenes and inside information is down there. Well, everything, everything you need is just down there. And there's also a notification button, which if you ring the bell, lets you know when I go live, which is on a Sunday and when I upload a video, which is a few times a week on all different crafting products. So with that said, Look after yourselves, take care, most importantly, stay safe. Bless you all, bye.